everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the next part of Let's Play EU4 as England. We are back, and uh, uh, before we get started, I just want to say, I just want to give a quick thank you to my now two subscribers. I didn't really, I uh, kind of mentioned it before in like part, what was it, seven? I mentioned my first subscriber. Now I've got two, and I want to uh, give them both a proper shout out. So, uh, shout out to Dizon, my very first subscriber, and Shanae Gandhi, my very second subscriber. Both of you are awesome. Uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed this enough to subscribe this early into the channel. So yeah, thank you very much, and uh, Gandhi, I, I've already responded to you, and uh, this was a while ago, but I will totally be doing the... Uh, the let's play as India in the extended timeline mod yeah so okay what was I what else was I gonna say I'm just going to prepare some stuff what we gotta do we gotta wait for our war exhaustion to go down it is so bad we haven't managed to keep very good war exhaustion for most of this game I can rival the Pope are you kidding me okay uh, so uh, I'm gonna get some more troops. Oh, I've already hired a couple of cavalry. Start hiring some infantry. Anyways, <clears throat> so I've been thinking about uh, what I'm gonna be doing this with this channel and uh, my let how I'm gonna be doing the let's plays. And I think that uh, conquering the world as England may not be the best of ideas right now. I mean. <clears throat> This, if I wanted to conquer the world, that would take like hundreds of parts. And honestly, I'm not so concerned about the hundreds of parts as I am, as I am the fact that as of this moment, I'm only doing, I'm only putting out two EU4 videos a week. I might do it uh, by, I might do it three videos a week by the time this comes out. I'm only doing like two videos a week. So, that's going to take years to get done. <clears throat> years. That's extremely long time. It would be an extremely long time, and I don't think anybody's... I don't want to be doing this one series for years. I want to be able to move on to other playthroughs and stuff. I don't think most people are going to be interested in that this early at this earliest stage in the channel and uh... hey oh hey he's done I thought he finished last time I don't even know uh, we'll send him to explore Sevilla so anyways uh... well what was I saying crap I don't even know uh, just making sure my mic is on I forgot to turn it on with my AVP2 let's plays that was dumb of me so yeah yeah that will take a really long time it <clears throat> by the time this let this series is done it'll have been like years or something and that is not something I want to wait that long for to get to the next series so we've got freaking rebels alright yeah so anyways I'm probably just going to do this w till uh either until the Cossacks aw oh, you bastards Okay, so either until the Cossacks DLC comes out, or just until 30 parts, and we'll we'll just do like um, the what do you call it? Uh, cred. We can't colonize there. I'm getting distracted. Anyways, do like the beginning game for World Conquest. I think that'd be cool. That'd be something that'd be cool and yeah no what I don't even know what I'm doing I don't even know what I'm saying I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I'm just kinda discombobulated right now so anyways yeah we'll, we'll play until either the Cossacks come out the Cossacks DLC since I don't think uh, we're gonna be able to continue this play this save will stay through the deals the expansion 
And what else was there? Oh yeah, or we're just gonna do this to like 30 parts. Yeah, one of those two things. That's how we're gonna do it for now, for the moment. That's what I'm planning, and oh, oh, I can either get less stability costs for a long time, or I can get one stability. That'd be a good long-term benefit, but the fact is we've got rebels right now, so I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the immediate set gratification. Oh my gosh, they're in Labor 2. God, oh my dear fuck. Okay, that that just really sucks. Also, if we want to attack them better, we need to head down to Wessex. Jeez, oh man, this is terrible. We're going through some rough times with England right now. Some rough times. Yeah, we. Well, last part, we lost the war with Burgundy. Well, we didn't really lose. We fought to a stalemate. We did not obtain anything that we wanted from that. I'm pretty certain that. For now, I'm going to try and focus on weakening Scotland. So let's start getting some claims fabricated. Because I want I want to weaken them so that we can go ahead and vassalize them. We can get the mission to vassalize them and spend little to no diplo po uh, little to no monarch points conquering the rest of the British Isles. Because that is, in fact, entirely possible. Uh, where are you? You're down there. Good job. Good job. Uh, where do I want to send you next? Waters of North Sea. Uh, we can do the North Sea. Just get stuff discovered. Since I'm not really going to be using them for anything else until we try to discover the Americas. That's pretty far. We have to get, take stuff from Portugal. Next chance we get. Uh, do they have a good leader? They do. He's pretty good. Would it be worth it to try and get another leader? Do we have... Oh, our army tradition looks is uh, pretty high right now. Pretty high up there. So, I uh, will take a chance. Wow. Okay. Alright. Yeah, whatever. He's slightly better. Let's go get him. <clears throat> Ambrose Warwick. I'm counting on you to put down the rebellion. Oh, I... That was weird. Come on, good rolls. Good rolls. Those are not good rolls. Ah, you... God damn it. Jeez, I... I let them be just so this could happen. This kind of crap. Ah, this sucks. At least, at least our war exhaustion doesn't go up. Ah, they discovered us. In fact, do we have a guy to do that? I'd be getting less money. Well, I mean, I might as well keep my trade guy for now, since they can't, like, discover me twice in a row. Otherwise, that'd just suck. So, let's get a few mer uh, mercs to help us out. And we're just going to go into debt here. Since that's not really that big of a deal. To be perfectly honest. It's just not that big of a deal, you know? Oh, great. They took the board. Ah, wow. Okay. I need to send them to Wessex again. Since we've got the money from the loan, we might as well buy even more mercs. There we go. Get them all. <clears throat> and basically at this point, we're just going to be recovering from that war. That's all we're going to be doing. Now, I don't think I have anything else for you to do. Oh wait, no. You can explore the coast of White Sea.
go ahead and do that. It'll be useful enough that, that way. Uh, we'll just give it one more month. They've breached the walls. They shan't breach any further. Alright, men. Hold back these barbarians, these heretics, these heathens to God, and destroy them. Ah, oh God. We've got so many more guys, and they're, they're getting excellent rolls on the shock. Fuck me. Okay. Crud, I hope I don't sound a little too exasperated. I just had a difficult battle with a stupid dragon on Skyrim. A battle that was way more difficult than it needed to be. Dear. Oh my gosh. These rebels are... How? We have literally no, no minuses except that one shock and you're still beating us do I want do I want that poop seat do I really want it how many seats do we have or how many cardinals we have four active cardinals that's gonna be wasting money so I'm not gonna take that oh great now they've taken London they'll likely head try to head towards marches next and get our other fort. So let's see if we can't uh, intercept them. There's no point at charging directly into them after they've already taken the place. Oh yeah, Oxfordshire is very defensive. Oh, we went into dead again anyways. Ah, this is going to be great. At least we're going to have at least uh, fighting these rebels is going to give us plenty of time to recover the war exhaustion. That's the only benefit I can see out of this. Ah, we're taking attrition here though. That's crap. That is crap. They're... They are ravaging my lands down here. They're pretty close towards breaking us. Okay. I think I'll switch out advisors now. Begin to fabricate against Ayrshire. Because in, go in order to get that mission to vassalize them, they need less than 50 development. So we're going to, for a second, take their most valuable provinces. Ah, crap. Uh, 11th May, 14th May. I'll just head that way. <laughs> head that way. I made the rhyme. Anyways, yeah, we're going to take their... We're going to temporarily steal their best provinces. That way they have under 50 development. We're also going to try and give... Release these. Release those cores. Now that they've separated, we can end this stupid rebellion here. We're gonna have to send a guy up here to blockade. Send our boats. Since they're separated, they are far weaker. Actually, we're gonna wait. Get ourselves a tick of morale, then we can head over here to fight these bastards. <coughs> Crap! I think my voice is raspy again. It was okay before. Now it's raspy again. Alright, let's take out these guys. Put a, a final end to this silly rebellion. And uh, we're getting terrible rolls. We're just not very lucky right now. Like, we basically just got decent rolls for both of those battles. Ah, France is being nice and trying to help me out. That's good. Thanks, France. Okay, Wessex is under our control. Now we have to take back London. We got a disease outbreak. First thing... Oh, those are so annoying. 
Our truce with Burgundy has already ended. That was pretty quick. If we want to attack them again, we're going... Oh, the Pope would join us. Anyways, next time we attack them, we're going to make sure we don't have any of that bullcrap of Austria getting distracted with someone else half the war. Or... And we're going to make sure we have we go in with more troops. We've got a giant army right now, as it is. Jeez. But we're going to have to get rid of some of these guys, though. Ah, France win. You can beat them. They're weak. Come on, come on. Ah, jeez. They're going to lose. do this. Yeah, I'll just do this. We're going to send a single unit. Come here. I'm gonna give him king here. We're gonna start funneling guys over here. And from there we should be able to should be able to go down there and beat these weakened troops. They are very weak right now. Hopefully we can put a final end to this rebellion. They, are, they were troublesome, I'll give them that. But they shall be put down. Oh yeah, they're gonna get wrecked. They have one, one defensive bonus. The rest is ours for the taking. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. That's going down. We can at least take some of these lands back while we're waiting. That is good news, I suppose. Doesn't really mean anything, but you know. It's better than nothing. Also, we better get our guys back over there. Help the siege go faster. They have slightly better shock, but our superior numbers should have no problem with that. We have a single thing here. Should I do that? I mean, our next thing is only two levels away. Hmm. Would that be worth it, though? Might be worth it. At least try and get close to Cape, uh, to Gold Coast down here. Because I want, we, uh, want the Ivory Coast. The Ivory Coast leads directly into the English Channel. Having power there will, having power there and our eventual conquest of the English Coast here. The English Channel Coast here will make us extremely rich. We now have a claim on Ayrshire. We're going to get one on Aberdeen. That should work to our <coughs> to our greatest advantage. Uh, what else are we going to do? I'm not going to waste any more money. We don't really need any more people there. It'd be nice if we got stability before the Prost and Reformation, but it's not necessary. It's not at all necessary. Ah, good, we got the walls broken. That will make things much more bearable. The Siege of London is now done. That is great, and once we get rid of the rest of these Lawlord controlled lands, there will be nothing to worry about until we go to war with Scotland. We're still above 5 war exhaustion, that's going to go away in due time though, in due time. The Hansa have Sealand, that sucks. And who are you? 
you're under Brabant, who is in the Empire. Brabant, though, is allied to Burgundy. Maybe we can take this piece of land here if we, when we attack Burgundy again. That would be something. Because Lubeck also drives directly into the English Channel. If we get power over here, oh my gosh, if we get power in Lubeck, Ivory Coast, <coughs> English Channel, and uh, the colonies, and the Caribbean, I think. Does Caribbean lead into here? It's Chesapeake. No, it doesn't lead into there. But all of uh, the Chesapeake, though, all of this together is going to be great. Oh my gosh, Sweden. Oh, they're strong. They are very strong. They're going to make taking Scandinavia difficult. No, there's uh, nothing to be gained and no challenge. Or something like that, I don't know. How's our autonomy looking? Where's There's an autonomy thing, right? There it is. Local autonomy. And... It's up here, that's to be expected. It looks like they didn't raise it anywhere else, though. That's good. I don't need my autonomy being raised. Because of some damn... Some rowdy people who suck. Right, so let's get rid of a few of these marks. We're going to get rid of four of them. That should be good. Then we are going to lower maintenance until our next war. That should help us to fix everything. Oh, we have a debate. So, uh, what can we get? Ooh, mercantilism. That'd be good. Guarantee minority rights. I think this mercantilism will be best. We can give them legitimacy. We can grant some autonomy. We can go ahead and bribe someone, and we should win. Easy peasy. Now, since I'm not having you do anything, I might as well make you help protect trade. That will help increase our funds. Uh, okay, yeah, we're getting, we're getting our claim on the Fife. No, Aberdeen. I forgot about claiming Fife. Oh well. Can no longer claim Artois. Unfortunate, but it happens. Uh, there we go. And get them all over there. I suppose we will walk. combine you, send you up there. You guys can head up there. All together, how much land do they have? Because it looks like a lot. Or development. 10. That's 30 already. Aberdeenshire is complete. And we're going to get 5. So, what is that? That's 30. 40. 50. 72, 83, 88, 88, yeah, 88, 92, no, yeah, crap, I can't do math, 92, 90, 95, and, uh, it's like, way too much. Let's repay a loan. Oh, what? Holy crap, those are huge. Those loans are huge. That sucks. Uh, that's still ahead of time, so we're gonna wait. Might as well get the extra colonization boost. Colonization range. Colonial range, that's it forget my words sometimes. Sometimes I do 
forget that. Can we repay now? Yes, we can. Get rid of that loan. Oh, we're about to get ahead of time here. Or no, we're about to get our neighbor bonus. Lose the ahead of time. That's what we're going to do. I know how to say things. I'm very good at saying things. You see, I'm saying a lot of things now. Just, it's just good. All right, I think we're gonna wait until the year end and then stop the uh, stop this part right here. This is a good amount of time. And November looks like we are very low on prestige. We're gonna take that prestige. Poland has made their way a bit into the HRE. Looks like they're fighting a few losing wars there. Sweden and Muscovy, then two Tons and Hansa. Oh yeah, they might be getting beat. They're getting beat real bad there. But this is just... Oh, that's a war against Denmark, so... Uh, it doesn't matter. Sweden and the two Tons are still making gains there. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this technology and uh, that'll be a that'll be a wrap right there thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please remember to like if you want to keep up to date subscribe share your thoughts in the comments and hope to catch you next time goodbye